nyumba ya kuku na staili kujenga ukuta wa 3 feet kutoka chini venye umejenga nyumba yako ventilation means a lot we start our show in kandisi ongata rongai where we go through margaret wambua's diary she decided to quit formal employment to venture into poultry farming it's another working day for margaret wambua and her farm hand this is what she has been doing for the last four years. The desire for self-employment saw her quit her job to start poultry farming. Mimi nilianza na kuku miambili. Na hiyo ilikuwa ni kama hiyo miaka ine iliyopita. Nilikuwa na 60,000. So kwa hiyo 60,000 ndo niluesa kununua chicks, nikanunua feeds. By that time ni mimi nilikuwa nafanya mimi peke angu. Sikuwa ni mianjiri mutu. Kwa miaka miwili isi kuweza kuandika mtu yoyote. Nikaongezea ikafika miatatu. Wakati silifika miatatu, hiyo nyumba ilikuwa miatatu. Niliweza kukaa nikaona. Niongezea hiyo nyumba nifanye a little bit bigger number. So nikaongezea hiyo nyumba nikawa ninafanya miasita. Kwa sasa ninafanya kama 1,700 at the same time. Hizi si tunafanya brooding ni elifu moja mia moja. Na sile siko almost ready to market ni miasita. So kiongesa hizo unakuta ni 1,700. Margaret is rearing broilers which take about 35 days to be ready for market. They have a shorter maturity period as compared to layers which take up to 6 months to start laying eggs. So if you perhaps want to venture into chicken rearing, broilers would give you quick cash so to speak. But that would mean giving them total attention like Margaret does. Wakati kuku siko, siko ii kiasi ya 10 days and below, sinakula kilo, kumi, kilo 25, sai sinakula kilo 25 kwa siku. Lakini tu, kila wakati uka nikiongezea lishe, nikiongezea lishe, kama vile sinakua. Wakati siko na 28 days, after 21 days, siku ya 20 na moja, naanza kusipatia kilo wa musini ya subui, kilo wa musini njioni. Na hiyo ni kwa kuku tu mia sita. Kitu ingini tunapatia, tunapatia vaksini. Na hii vaksini tunapatia ya ngumbulo na ya nyukasu. Hiyo ni kuzuia tu iwapo kutakuwa na ugonjwa, isipate hizo kuku. Njambo la mwisho tunapatia hizi kuku, tunasipatia kitu tunaita motivitamins. Wakati tunapatia motivitamins, inaisaidia ikue, ikue active na izuie magonjo hata hivo kuingia. Disease control is key in chicken rearing. That's why in many poultry farms you will find this food bath right at the entrance of a chicken house. Before entering the chicken house, it is important to dip your footwear to prevent entry of any disease into the chicken house and limit spread. And that's not all. Wakati nilifunzo kuhusu nyumba ya kuku, niliambiwa nyumba ya kuku na staili kujenga ukuta wa 3 feet kutoka chini. Na nikijenga kutoka chini 3 feet, hapo pengini kwe, kumpaka rufi ninaweka wire mesh. Ndiyo isaidia hewa inaingia na inatoka. As Margaret puts it, proper hygiene and biosecurity measures should be implemented in a poultry farm. Otherwise, a poultry farmer may end up with increased production costs arising from cost of medication to huge losses experienced from low egg production in the case of layers and decreased growth rate for broilers. According to Margaret, it's important that you identify your market before starting to rear broilers. Like any other business, poultry farming has its fair share of challenges. Kuna wakati mwingine unalisha kuku sinaka muda morefu, haunja uza, sinakula, sina gain weight, na perhaps ninausa kuku sangu pa kilo. Nimeweza kuovakamu hizo challenges through, through interacting with other people kwa sababu many times nina interact na watu wengi, nina exchange ideas. Na then kupitia hiyo, tena ninaasa kupata market kupitia hao. Unaona? And that's how Margaret has managed to have the business running for four years now.
And to those who wish to get a quick fix from chicken rearing, Margaret has some advice for you. Eh, shida kubwa nimeona na wakulima tuna expect faida kubwa ikuja at the same time time lakini hatujui kama kuna process kuna process ni some ni, ni, ni implement ni initiate ni some ni hakikisha hiyo kitu nimefanya penye ina staili i keep 6000 but in different bunches from margaret wambua's farm we visit another farmer still in rongai Meet Caroline Dongo, a poultry farmer as well, but with a different story. No, j just tell me, how did you start? Okay, I started back 2015. Mm. Na na kienyeji, mm. which is a serious nayo ju ndikuwa na ina tunata e kuku zinataga mayai tunakura. It was not for business. Mm. Sasa mm. ni ndikuwa na tembele rafiki yangu alikuwa meka broilers mm. sasa kuna nilikuwa na shop somewhere nilikuwa nauza mayai okay. sana sasa mwenye alikuwa ananiuzia mayai akaniuliza kama ningekuwa na kashamba somewhere in rongai naweza weka nini kuku sasa reas i started from there nikaleta reas 300 300 yes business. yes a bunch of 300 sasa zikatagataga mayai nilikuwa nauzia watu huku kwa shops rongai Alafu, before zi, zi malize, nikaleta layer, uh, broilers. Okay. Broilers ni hizi za nyama. 300 again. Sasa, kube broilers, they are short term. I didn't know. Layers, they are long term. Zinaendanga six months. Dio okay. zianze kutaga mayai. Kwa hivyo, you have to use a lot of money. Ni mfuko, kutoa, kutoa. Sasa, oh. broilers, okay, ata broilers zinatumianga pesa, but ni only five weeks di unapata pesa yako. Sasa from there, venye nilingia kwa broilers, sijai rudi nyuma. And from 300 birds, the number has grown to 6,000. Indeed, Caroline is in good chicken rearing business. There is no time my customer ata nipigia, ukona kukusina. Kuna zenye tunachinja saai, after hizi ziishe, kuna hizo. There are three weeks now. After nini, next week, this week they, are, they, they will start on, they will be on pellet. Next week, but one. Maybe tutapata hapo 1.2, 1.1, 1.3 by weekend, 1.5. 1. For that farmer who is not so sure of the type of food to use, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that someone should consider before settling on a certain feed? Feed? Yeah. Okay, unaangalia where you are. Sana sana the ventration about your when you mejenga nyumba yako ventration means a lot okay. kwa sababu kama unga kuna ingine inaito advance mm. you are not supposed to kufunga sana unaona kama hii nyumba nimefungua nisha so that nikianza pellet sasa hewa ina, ina through everywhere okay. kama hizi nilikuwa nimefunga the other side nikafungua nisha kwa sababu like in now sahi kuna jua you, you will experience a lot of water berry and heart attack. Oh. Yes, we have so many problems with heart attack and waterberry because of chakura na nijua, poor ventilation. Okay. Yes. And uh, so I see some pellets. This is pellet. Mm. Pellet unaza kutoka zikimaliza 21 days, mm. you then you start introducing is the pellet ama finish a mash for three days, mm. then you unaingia pellet. From there, ukingia pellet, idio inaungezanga weight kwa kuku. After one week also, yeah. umeanza kupata kuku zaku. Watu wakuchinja, wanakujanga, wanachinja, na natoanga kulingana na order. Kama niko na order ya hamsini, yeah. natoa, mia, natoa. Kulingana venye order iko. Until, yeah. ziishe. Sasa, usiseme hakuna kazi. Just, weka hata kama ni kienyeji, zipatie chakura, uza mayai, for their part, farmers have a huge role to play to ensure that they not only embrace better handling of chickens, but also make the poultry farming a profitable venture. So number one is just having a good plan and ensuring that you provide everything that you require. The second thing is then to also ensure that you have well-trained workers who can understand, who understand the system.
and can easily be able to adjust when there's a problem in the system. Uh, the third thing is also to then have a good by, uh, health plan. And health plans are developed using by being in conjunction with either a good veterinarian. And in this country, the chick suppliers and at certain levels, the feed suppliers do offer good extension services. I think the last one, which for me is very important, is the farmer also needs to have some level of record keeping so that the farmer is able to tell when they are losing, when there's been a mortality,